TJ, before we get to the game, is this game any more special? You get to see your brother inducted into the Texans Ring of Honor. It happened on this game. Yeah, I don't know if the game's any more special. I think the event. ceremony, the event, yeah, for sure, is going to be special yeah. just to yeah. see my brother get rewarded the way he deserves. Um, it's special just because I know all the hard work and dedication, blood, sweat, and tears, hard times, great times, behind the scenes things. Um, sometimes the people knew about, sometimes they didn't. And uh, I'm just very proud to call him uh, my older brother. And uh, I'm looking forward to uh, just seeing them and having dinner the night before the game. And then obviously see him uh, get honored in the Ring of Honor is awesome. How much did he teach you? I mean, I mean, is he a big part of who you are today? Yeah, I mean, you ask anybody. And I'm not, I don't shy away from talking about my brothers. Um, both of them have had such an impact on my life, uh, just showing me that how to be a good person, a good player. Uh, how to handle myself in the community, just, 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 excuse me, just really give me the blueprint of just how to be a man. And uh, I've appreciated both of them uh, for that. Defensive player of the month, what does that mean to you? Uh, I mean, it's, it's always nice to be uh, recognized, but uh, it's so early in this whole process. Uh, at the end of the day, I'm just trying to win. And uh, those things all kind of handle themselves as you play hard, trusting your teammates, and uh, just go out each and every week like you have something to prove. TJ, what stood out to you about Stroud playing only three games? No, no turnovers. He's been sacked a few times, but it seems like he's growing every week. Yeah, he's strong. Uh, strong, first of all, hard to get down. A uh, guy that's going to take care of the football, like you just said. Uh, but at the same time, he's going to let it fly. It seems like he, he progresses through his reads uh, like a veteran. So uh, there's going to be a lot of challenging things for us, but uh, I look forward to it. Do you guys do anything as a team or even personally when you go up against a rookie? Different? No, not really. I mean, the, at this point, we already have three games on him, so it's not like there's a lot of unknown. Uh, obviously, he's still growing each and every week, but we have a little bit of a resume for him, and uh, we're just going to handle our business and uh, hopefully he gets the job done. I know you and JJ have a friendly sibling rivalry. Is there any extra juice to go out there and, and play and put on a show the same day that he's getting in the ring of honor? No, I, no I, don't, I don't think any of that really plays a factor, honestly. Uh, I, I think they're two separate events. Dude, what do you want to carry over? What did you like about especially stopping the run you guys did last week? Yeah. What was that, sorry? What, what do you guys want to carry over as far as run stop from last week? We just want to continue to build on it. I mean, uh, it's, it's like I just said to her, it's early in the season, and you're going to have ups and downs. It's just about where you find your baseline. And uh, we need to settle in on stopping the run and allowing us to pin our ears back and create the splash like you guys have seen in previous weeks. Uh, but the, pa the, the past weeks are the past weeks. It's all about what we do this week. You like the baseline? You like the baseline right now so far? I mean, I'm never going to like the baseline. We're always going to try to be improving, but it's where do we settle? Uh, obviously, the first two weeks weren't great. Last week was better, um, but we're always going to be striving to improve it. The head coach and offensive coordinator both came from San Francisco. Do you see any schematic differences between what the 49ers did and maybe what you used to do? Yeah, I mean, the thing about the NFL is there's only so much that you really can do. So there, there are a lot of similarities every week, but there are specifically some more this week than others. And uh, it's been good film to be able to go back and watch our 49ers game, watch games where he was back in 49ers calling uh, plays and then see the similarities and differences. Anything else? Thanks a lot, TJ. Thanks, TJ. Thanks, TJ. Yep. You've, you've consistently been the kind of guy that when you stepped up and got a starting opportunity, you played like one. What, what are some of the keys to being ready if your number's called? Uh, just approaching every week, like I'm, I'm gonna play, you know, uh, just always having that mentality, being ready when my number's called. That's just how I've been approaching it since I've gotten to the league. I'm gonna keep approaching it like that. Obviously, James is out the last couple of days of practice. Just, um, what was this week like for you? Uh, I mean, I got a lot of reps this week. Just trying to take the most of my opportunities. I feel like there's cohesion up there, no matter who's playing right now. Yeah, the whole line room is tight. I feel confident, you know, playing next to anybody out there. I uh, feel like anyone's confident playing next to any of the guys that we have in the whole line room. We're all real tight. You know, offensively, I mean, obviously it's begin the offense begins some criticism the first couple weeks, but you guys are coming off maybe your best game. Do you think that is a step in the right direction? Do you feel like you guys kind of are turning the corner and finding what you need to? I try not to live in that like uh, area of thinking. I just I'm a big one play at a time, one day at a time, and we'll see what happens.
Nate, what, how's the transition been? What's the communication like with you guys uh, with the time that you've had? Uh, what do you mean communication? Communication with the other offensive linemen. How do you guys feel comfort, comfort level next to each other? Um, I mean, I've been with Isaac for three years in Philly. Uh, that's my dog. One of my one of my really good friends, probably one of my really good friends from my whole life. But uh, so that's nothing new. It's, I'm stoked to be playing with him again, you know, on the same team. But every, everyone in the old line room, like I love everybody. A bunch of great guys. They all come to work, put their hard hats on. I couldn't ask for better teammates. How did you and Isaac become friends? What is it about him that you guys kind of? Um, he just kind of took me under his wing when I got to the Eagles, and uh, after practice, he would help me work on my game and uh, work on my craft, and it's something I'm forever indebted for him. I don't know if I'll be here without him, so I got nothing but high praise for him. I'm thankful for him, and I'm, I'm thankful for the friendship that we've made. Do you guys play with a similar intensity? Is that yeah, I mean, I hope I can. He's a good player, man. I hope I can match his intensity. When you signed here, were you aware that this, you were joining a group with some pretty durable guys up front that they didn't miss? start all last season as a new liner or do you always kind of bank on the fact that at this position guys are going to go down and that's going to be needed uh, i mean I, I i don't bank on anything i just uh i like I, I like the black and gold i like you know it, i've listened to like coach tomlin speak before i was just a huge fan i just thought it'd be super cool to play for a legendary coach like that one of the greatest coaches i think all time and uh you know, I just try to come to work and work every day. Obviously, you can play many different positions up front. Do you feel more or less comfortable in one position? Or do you feel like this is a good spot for you? Does it ma not matter, like where you just want to play? <laughs> I don't care when I play. I just want to play. Man. Yeah. It's unfair. <laughs> your, 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 your folks going to be uh, in Houston for the game? Uh, I believe so. Yeah, my older brother lives in Houston, so I'm looking forward to seeing him. Nate, what, uh, what have you seen uh, film-wise from the Texans front? Man, a bunch of good players, uh, good all across the board. Um, they got a great head coach, you know, his first year. Good, solid, sound defense, so, you know, I just got nothing but high praise for him. I know you got to be prepared to play all three interior spots, but is right, left, is it more comfortable with right, or as comfortable with right, or comfortable with right? I'm comfortable playing, man, <laughs> whenever I get to play. Other than the AAF and the XFL, have you been in other leagues or anything, or, or, or kicking? Are you, first of all, are you living here, or are you back in Australia? No, yeah, I'm in America. Um, I'm down in Baton Rouge. i got a 10-year-old okay. son down there, so that's home for me. Um, and it was just the AAF and the XFL outside of this, yeah. But I imagine you've been, you must have kept yourself in shape. Or oh, oh, yeah, absolutely, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, I was planning on going back to the XFL next year. Um, Heinz Ward is my coach, so he was he was telling me that, you know, he wanted me back there next year if nothing else happened. So, um, yeah, very grateful for him, too. What was that like, having Heinz as your coach? I loved it, man. Um, again, like, I, I thought I was – I thought my football days were over. I thought I'd never play again, so I was just really grateful to be out there playing. Um, and then also to have Heinz, it just kind of made it a whole lot sweeter. You know, Joey Porter was out there. I, I had him here when I was here. So um, it was good to see some familiar faces for sure. Are they the same as coaches as they were as players? Um, they're, yeah, they're great players. They're great coaches. Heinz is a very hard, crazy player. You know, I wouldn't say he's a crazy coach, you know, but he's a great <laughs> coach. Yeah, absolutely. How did you end up in the XFL? Was it a phone call? Did you put yourself in a draft? How did that come together? Yeah, I saw... Um, there was like a specialist combine kind of going on, and I saw it on Instagram. I know Nick Novak was running it, and I know him just from playing against him. Um, and so, yeah, it's as simple as I just saw it on Instagram, and I thought, oh, I, I want to try and do that. That was probably in like May of um, last year, because um, the combine, I think, was in October or November or something like that. So that was when I started kind of preparing to, to punt again. What was it like to get the call that, hey, there's a tryout opportunity at the Steelers, maybe an opportunity to sign here? Yeah, again, it's just surreal, you know. Um, I love this place. I've always loved this place, even when I went to play elsewhere. This is a special place. Um, stayed in contact with a lot of people here. So, yeah, just to be brought back in and and not even just signing or having the opportunity to sign, just to see the faces was, was amazing. So anything on top of that has just been, just been awesome. Well, you said your son is in Baton Rouge. Is he going to make the trip to Houston? We're working on it. We're working on it. It's not too far, so we're working on it. He's, he's just in the thick of his football season. He's just started middle school, so we'll see. Is he a punter, too? He's playing offensive line. Couldn't be more different. <laughs> uh, when it comes to placeholding, are you 
confident there, and you think they'd expect you to do that as well? Um, I would guess so, yeah. If, if Presley's not going, I would guess that I'd have to punt and hold. And yeah, I feel good with that. I've always done that. Um, the guys here have been great um, as far as like letting me know what Boswell wants. So yeah, we, we feel good if, if that's a need for sure. When you're punting in the NFL versus an XFL, is there a difference in speed of the game as far as having to get the ball out or rushers coming at you? Is there a noticeable difference in that kind of speed? Um, a little bit, yeah. Obviously, NFL is the fastest football on the planet, um, though with the XFL there was a lot of rule changes that kind of hurt the punter. For example, you weren't allowed to punt out of bounds and then the gunners weren't allowed to go downfield until you'd punt it. Um, so there were some challenges that I'm glad I'm not dealing with as far as rule changes with that stuff, for sure. Did that force you to have to change your style or anything? Yeah, you just, you know, you really got to have good hang time to, to give your guys a chance to get down there and, um, yeah, you don't want to hit touchbacks because it comes out to the 35 instead of the 20. So it just really kind of makes you hone in on your uh, placement of the ball. Brad, you mentioned that Joey's on that staff. And then a couple lockers down as his kid. Yeah. How, how weird is that? Yeah, so he was at our last XFL game. Um, he was on the bus. I, I thought we'd signed him. He was going to play with us. But then Joe, he was like, no, that's Joey's son. So, um, yeah, I'd met him. And, and, yeah, it's just crazy. I saw that moment transpire uh, when the draft happened. That was that was special. But, again, that's you don't expect anything else from the Steelers. That's, that's kind of what they're known for. You were